Hi, my name's Tom Kubinick with Secure Tactical. Anybody who follows me probably knows my view on fire ratings. It's 100% nonsense. In many cases, it's just a sticker on the door. It doesn't mean anything. Well, today, we're going to put a gun safe to the test. We've got a U.S.-made, 75-minute rated fire safe. And what we do, we've built a structure to simulate a room in a home. We're going to light it and see what happens. My guess is the safe goes about 12 minutes. So let's head out to the ranch, get this thing lit, and then we're gonna come back and really talk about what happened. All right, we've got the safe in place. Got temp probes are in, putting this in together. Look, this is not a high-tech scientific experiment. This is, we're doing this pretty simple, but at the end of the day, you know, a house fire isn't a scientific experiment in lab conditions. It's just a fire. So that's kind of what we're, we're creating here, just a real world fire. We're getting close. We'll be lighting this thing up in a few minutes, and uh, you know what? We're gonna see what happens. All right, guys, we're ready to get this thing rolling. We've got, uh... now we're not doing anything crazy. We've got a little bit of kerosene in the bottom just to help this thing get started, but I'm not doing any crazy fuel igniter thing. All right, Steven, let's get this thing started. I've got the temp probe. It's a Bluetooth temp probe running in insulated line into the safe. Temp probe is running. I'm gonna pull this up. All right, so internal te safe temp is 64 degrees. This is going to take a little while to get this thing rolling. It's again, we're not doing some crazy accelerant with a whole bunch of gasoline or anything. It's we're trying to simulate just a just a fire. All right, guys, we've got our internal temperatures running, and uh, safe's coming up. We're 205 degrees in the safe. Been going at. Let me get my timer. We're at 11 minutes, above, above 1,200 degrees. The burn box is working. Guys, we are busted. We're 410 degrees. Inside the safe. Inside 410 degrees and, uh, really? yep. That was a lot faster than I thought. All right, guys. The safe went 21 minutes. Now, it's a 75 minute safe. We waited till the temperature came up above 1200 degrees. We started the timer and then it went, what happened is it started coming up and it accelerated. As it got hotter, it got hotter faster. Hey guys, we'll be right back with the video. Just want to go over a few things. First off, you'll see the temperature's coming up and it jumps up to around 400 degrees. The SD card ran out in the camera. I mean, we're not professional videographers. We set things up and we didn't realize how much space was on that, the SD card, how much we were using. And all of a sudden the camera was off. So we did a quick card swap and that's why there's a gap in the video. Now, the safe went 21 minutes. It was a 90-minute rated safe. My estimate was 12 minutes, and it went a little longer. I'm explain why, explain what happened. The reason gun safes don't last is because of the convective nature of a real fire. When they test a gun safe, they put it into an oven, they bring the temperature up to 1,200 degrees or 13, whatever the test is, 1,300 degrees very quickly, and they start a timer, and temp probes in the safe record the safe coming up. Now we have our true safe, which we built, which is a true double walled concrete filled safe. And we did that test. Our, our safe went two hours, 20 minutes. We would give it, if I gave it a fire rating, I'd give it 45 minutes. And we demonstrated it with this fire. In a fire, you've got a convective force. The air is moving, it's not static. And it heats, transfers heat exponentially faster, so much faster. I want you to think about this. You're putting a pizza in an oven at your home. Oven's heated to 450 degrees. You can put your hand in. In fact, you could probably put your hand in a 450 degree oven and just hold it there. I'll bet you could go 30 seconds before it starts heating up to the point where you gotta pull it out because the transfer isn't that fast. Take a small jet engine where the exhaust is coming out at 60 miles an hour and it's 450 degrees. Put your hand in that exhaust at 60 miles an hour. It'll burn the skin off your bones. I'm going to say in, in 
two seconds. Three, it's, it's going to be so fast. It's going to rip you apart. That's what's happening in a fire. In your home, talk to firefighters. Air can move inside a home in excess of 60 miles an hour. Now, I did some research and really thought it would go 12. In our burn box, it was so, so small. We never had enough convective force. There just wasn't enough room, I think, for the air to really get whipping in there. And it never really got to a roaring, roaring fire. But it did cook off that safe in 21 minutes. Now, more importantly, when I look at fire ratings and safes, we put the fire out and the safe continued to go up. I think it maxed out just under 600 degrees. But do you know how hot your safe gets in a fire? If you've got a safe that's been in a hot fire and you get it open and you've got a couple of rifles, let's say you've got a chassis gun or, or a you know, long-range rifle, you've got guns that they don't have wood on them, do you know how hot they got? You really don't. Tempered steel, hardening steel starts losing its properties 350 to 400 degrees, around 380 degrees, I think, is when steel starts to change. The annealing process for steel, another hardening process, annealing changes at right around six, between six and 700 degrees. So if you've got a high-powered rifle, are you going to put a round through it that's been in a fire? If you've lost the hardening qualities on that barrel and in that chamber, I mean, you've got, a, you've got a potential for a rifle blowing up in your face. I'm saying if you've got rifles that are in a fire, replace them. I'm, you, you should not shoot them. So then why are we buying? Why do people buy fire-rated safes? I think the mindset is wrong. I want people to really start thinking differently about this and realize that, A, the fire rating on your safe is nonsense, but B, if your guns are in a fire, I'm not sure they're worth anything. They might be wall art, but I'm not sure you should ever shoot them again. This isn't a scientific test. We wanted a real world situation. So the box was, it's just plywood. We put two layers of drywall in it. And then we just screwed in like studs, two by sixes and some two by fours. When the temperature reached, um, broke a thousand degrees, about 1200 degrees in the box, the internal safe temperature was 74 degrees. So I think it was a good test. And as a safe temp came up, um, it accelerated. It was interesting. It's not, we tested our true safe in an oven. It was very linear. This was different. This came up and as it got hot, there's a point where the, it just accelerated. It broke 350, 21 minutes. And we're like, wow, it broke 350. We looked again, it was 456. So it went up quickly. That's when, it's, when we started putting the fire out. Now it's come down. Um, He's going to get a temp. It's, now, gun safe will continue to rise. There we go. All right, 572 degrees. And that is, uh, we put the fire out, what, 12 minutes ago? About 12. The, when we put the fire out, it was 400, roughly 450 degrees out. And now I'm shooting 572. So the, so the temperature has continued to rise. And here's something interesting I want to run. I didn't look at it yet. My, my watch is still running. Okay, fire's out already. I'm at 36 minutes. It saves almost 600 degrees. So it's a 75-minute rated safe. We busted it at like 21 minutes. And now it's a, a little over a half hour. And the, the fire's out, but the safe is still going up internally because the steel's so hot. So we're going to say this thing is busted, and uh, it wasn't as fast as I thought. I, my estimate was 12 minutes. Uh, but again, we're, we're less than 40 minutes in, and we are 572 degrees. That's hot. That's really hot. So post your comments, post your questions. If you're just a troll, want to post horseshit, you know, go ahead and do that. But this was a real world, no bullshit test. We built a room. We lined it with two by sixes and two by fours. They were spaced about every 12 inches. Um, we did not cover it in gasoline. We started our timer as a, as a flame broke through a thousand, but it went past that pretty quickly. And uh, the temp inside the box went up past 1200 to 1500. And then our, our, our temp sensor stopped working. So it just cooked it. But again, in a real world fire, your house doesn't just burn at 1200. It burns at the temperature it burns at. We're gonna wrap this thing up and uh, call it a day. Thanks a lot, guys. Mm -hmm.